Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be showing you how to install my listing theme, the directory theme, as well as doing a little bit of configuration so uh, you can go ahead and get started with adding your listings and adding all of your other settings. So right now I have a blank WordPress installation and the only thing I have activated is WooCommerce. Uh, Breeze is a caching plugin so I'm going to go ahead and disable that. So right now I only have WooCommerce. I haven't done any setup or anything like that. So just WooCommerce has just been installed. So right now we're going to go ahead and download the theme from our theme forest downloads. And you can see I have it right here. And we're going to click the big green download button. And I'm going to click all files and documentation. From there we're going to navigate to our dashboard. Go under appearance and then themes. So right now you can see all the themes that we have installed on our website. Let's go ahead and add a new one. And then we're going to go ahead and choose upload. From there we have the choose file. So the file that we downloaded earlier, we're going to go ahead and click on this and we're going to unzip it. And from here you'll see that we have this folder right here. We have all of our demos. We have some documentation, some licensing information, uh, my listing unzipped. We have the plugins. So we have a copy of RevSlider. And then we also have a child theme and a my listing.zip. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and upload these. We're going to go ahead and drag my listing.zip to the juice file. And we're going to click install now. Now, what this does is this going to install the theme onto your WordPress installation. If you're having troubles installing the theme, I suggest you navigate to your server, find your FTP credentials, and upload it into your themes folder manually. Now once we're done installing the theme, you're gonna go ahead and click activate. And we have a bunch of notices. So right now it says this theme requires the following plugins, contact form seven, Elementor, WP job manager, also recommends this and then there's an update for WooCommerce. So I'm going to go ahead and click on begin installing plugins. From there I'm just going to click on this top button and I'm going to go ahead and click install and apply. So now everything that we've just clicked on is going to install. Let's return back to our dashboard and we're going to go ahead and see this there's still an update for WooCommerce. Let's go ahead and update this by begin updating the plugin and click update. All right. So right now it says the plugin's been reactivated successfully. Let's go back to our dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and disable usage tracking. Then I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of this menu. So right now we have completely installed the theme. Everything is great. We can go ahead and start building our site. Now, if you plan on doing some customizations to your functions file, a lot of CSS work, then you may want to consider uploading a child theme. So let's go ahead and do that now. Under Appearance, go to Themes, click Add New, Upload Theme, and we're going to go back to that file that we had earlier, and it's going to be called My Listing Child. We're going to go ahead and click and drag that, and we're going to click Install Now. Let's go ahead and activate it. Now you must have the parent theme installed before installing and activating your child theme. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these extra themes just to keep my WordPress site nice and tidy. So now that you've got your parent theme installed and your child theme installed, you're 100% ready to go and you can go ahead and start configuring my listing and adding all of your listing types and your listings. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and we will see you at the next one.